Okay, hello Aries. How are you doing? This is Heavenly Tarot. Okay, I'm doing your general read. Okay, it may not resonate with you, with everybody. Okay, so who it resonates with, I hope it can help you in a situation to move forward. Okay, to help you make a decision in something you need help making a decision on. Okay, somewhere you may be stuck. Okay, if it doesn't resonate, okay, maybe next time you guys, something will resonate with you guys next time. All right. Okay. And welcome to any new viewers that I have that have stopped by to check out my channel. Welcome to my channel, okay? Please subscribe. I'd love to have you as a subscriber, okay? Collective read, okay? Aries, what I'm seeing for you guys is kick the bucket, okay? I can see you kicking the bucket, a little small bucket, okay? So maybe you're giving up on someone or something, okay? I'm here and kick the bucket. I'm seeing... A foot kick in the bucket. Okay. Alright, I'm hearing contemplations. Some of you guys are contemplating on some things. Alright. Okay, Aries. I'm hearing wishful thinking. Some of you have wishful thinking on something or someone. Hmm. Some of you are on the hunt. I'm hearing bounty. Bounty hunt. So some of you are on the hunt. Maybe for love. For new relationships. New beginnings. Okay. Alright. Okay. So Holy Spirit. Show us um, Aries energy. And messages of advice you want them to hear. Show us Aries energy answers messages of advice that you need them to hear as well aries energy and messages of advice that you need them to hear as well wow that's too many probably ah it's gonna be a long one It's going to be a long one, you guys. A lot of cards fell out. Okay, so Aries, the cards that we have for you are the Strength card, the Moon card, the Five of Swords, um, the Ace of Wands, the Two of Cups, the Five of Wands, the um, Tower card, the Hermit card, Three of Pentacles, Five of Cups, Seven of Swords, the Empress, and the Fool card, okay? That's you, the Aries. Okay. Okay, so the strength card is um, a Leo using your strength in a situation or healing. Okay, in a situation. The moon card, we know that secrets, five of swords, sense of defeat or watching someone all the time. Okay. Um, Ace of Wands, moving forward in a success. It, it could be in a promotion, marriage, travels, you know new employment okay two of cups um coming in union committing partnership five of wands okay um you could be conflicted within yourself or someone in your energy could be um confused about a situation um disharmony arguments fights okay all right Hold on one minute, you guys. I'm trying to see. Okay, let me hit. Okay, so then we have the um, the tower. We know that's a disaster. Hermit, we know that's going in solitude off to yourself to gather, um, to reflect on yourself, to gather information you need to gather intuitively or to make a decision, okay? A wise decision on something. Three of Pentacles. Um building working hard at building a relationship stability partnerships um organizations businesses okay 
five of cups is disappointment you know you're dis disappointed within yourself disappointment in options okay seven of swords deceiving someone's being deceiving someone's trying to get away with something the empress okay rebirth pregnancy beauty loving kindness family oriented okay venus okay oh abundance most of all abundance okay the full card okay this could be a um a windfall of money coming in this could be you're taking a chance on taking a leap you're taking a leap of faith at something you're taking a chance blind faith okay and this could be young somebody young as well children i think they use this as children as well a child all right Okay, so we have the strength. Okay, Holy Spirit. Okay, some of you guys are trying to be strong. Use your strength in a situation. Some of you guys are healing from a situation that you've been hurt through. Okay. Or this is a Leo. Stability. Oh, yeah, a Leo. The Leo of Stability. Holy Spirit, clarify the strength card and Leo's energy. Clarify the strength card and Leo's energy. Holy Spirit, thank you. Eight of Wands. Okay, so someone, there's an Aries out there who. There's a Leo in their energy. And there's going to be some unexpected news to come to you about a Leo. Or there's going to be some fast forward, swift movement. Okay, forward with you and a Leo. Okay. Or there's going to be some unexpected news coming in. It may not be about a Leo, but it's going to be some unexpected news. But the, the Eight of Wands, it's good news. Okay. Holy Spirit, clarify the Eight of Wands. And Aries energy. Okay. The justice card. Okay. Yeah, you're wanting a victory when it comes to um a Leo. You know, yeah. Alright, something long term. So maybe that's what the unexpected news is. You're gonna get a victory concerning this Leo. You may get what you want. <clears throat> Okay, so that's for Aries out there. Good luck with that. All right, congratulations. Okay, the moon card, a secret. Somebody's holding a secret, either you or somebody in your energy, Aries. Holy Spirit, clarify this moon card and Aries energy. Okay, concerning stability or concerning a Capricorn. Holy Spirit, clarify the King of Pentacles. Okay. So a Capricorn who's their soulmate. Somebody you either see a Capricorn as your soulmate and you're holding it a secret from someone. Or this Capricorn is holding it a secret from someone, from you. That they have a soulmate. Okay. All right. King of Wands. This is you, Aries. So... This person, this Capricorn entity satisfies you. So this is you. You're holding a secret from someone, Aries. And this Capricorn is entity satisfying you. And you're not sharing that with anybody. Okay? So that is a secret. Holy Spirit, clarify the King of Wands. So you need to release that secret. So you can move forward. The Knight of Wands. Okay, and this this um, Capricorn is at a distance from you. You have to travel to get to this Capricorn. The secret is you may be moving to be with this um, Capricorn, okay? Or you're juggling the idea of moving to be with this Cap Capricorn, okay? You're juggling with the idea of it. 
All right. So you, this is something you need to release and share with. Okay. Somebody that you're going through a karma situation with. Okay. Or you want good luck in this juggling, this idea of moving towards this Capricorn. Hmm. <laughs> I'm hearing wishful thinking. Wishful thinking. So I don't know if that means it's not going to happen. You're going to continue to have wishful thinking on this situation. I'm just hearing wishful thinking. Okay. So you're just pondering on it. Wishful thinking. There may not be no movement towards it. Okay. Okay. The five of swords. Um, there's a Capricorn out there that may be feeling a sense of defeat in the situation. Or they're just watching someone constantly. Okay. Okay, I don't know why I'm hearing boastful. So maybe the person that you watch constantly, they're a very boastful person because I'm hearing boastful. Maybe they're very egoish, boastful. They brag a lot. Holy Spirit, you're seeing this person as being boastful. Okay, maybe that's why you're looking at it like that. Maybe they ain't a sense of feet. You're looking at them like they're, they just brag too much. Or... Holy Spirit, clarify the Five of Swords and Aries energy. Or somebody could see you be seeing you as very boastful. Okay. Hmm. So somebody wants to move to better waters. Maybe you want to move to better waters with somebody that you're watching all the time. That you keep a close eye on. You want to move into a victory with this person. Holy Spirit, clarify the six of wands. Okay. Yeah, you give more attention to this person than you do anybody else. Okay. So, um, Capricorn, there's however that resonates. Let me do one more card. Holy Spirit, clarify the Six of Pentacles. Okay. Three of Wands. Hmm. You may have turned your back on this person in the past. Well, this is just saying you want a new beginning. Yeah, you're looking out in the horizon. You want a new beginning with this person, okay? Or you're being told you are going to step into a new beginning with this person. It will happen if that's what you want. You're worrying about this new beginning you want. You really see this person as abundant. Let's have an abundance in your life with this person, Okay? Hmm. The Ten of Swords. This person may betray you. So you need to use your intuition. Ten of Swords. You may get betrayed by this person. Alright. So keep your eyes open, Aries. Okay, Holy Spirit, clarify the Ace of Wands. Oh, let me... <clears throat> Clarify the Ace of Wands. Okay. Somebody wants a success in moving forward. Travels. Okay. Victory. It's a success in moving forward in a travel situation. A victory is wanted. There's going to be some open communication. Wow. With an Aquarius, somebody in the spotlight, in the public eye, you're gonna have. Some, you need to have some open communication with this person about you having a success in travels, moving forward with someone you want to commit to, or it's an Aquarius you want to move forward in travels with. You need to have some open communication with the person that you're committed to about you moving forward. Okay. And this person has their guard up with you. <clears throat> Holy Spirit. When you're being told this moving forward is going to be a struggle, but it, it will be successful. 
but it's going to be a struggle for you but you need to have open communication with whoever you're with or dealing with about this okay Or there's going to be open communication with, with the person, the Aquarius you want to move forward with. Okay. So either how that resonates. If somebody's out there thinking about having open communication, letting somebody know that they want to move forward with someone else, that's your answer. You need to talk to the person about it and let them know what you're about to do, not just leave them hanging. Okay, the Five of Wands. Holy Spirit, clarify this Five of Wands. Okay, someone doesn't know which way to go in a situation concerning who they want to have stability, comfort, and security with. Holy Spirit, clarify the Ten of Wands. They're confused. Okay. About a Gemini. I mean an air sign. I'm sorry. I call this a Gemini. But air is Gemini, Libra, um, Aquarius. So it may be a Gemini, but it's an air sign. Okay. That you're confused about. Holy Spirit, clarify the page of swords. Okay, yeah, you want to offer a cup to this air sign. Holy Spirit, clarify the four of cups. Okay, yeah. You see them. They may have Leo in their chart. Okay, but you want you're wanting stability with this um air sign, okay? Scorpio. Okay, you're emotional about this um air sign. They could have Scorpio in their chart, but you're full of emotions when about this Leo. This Leo air sign person. Okay. Mm. Okay, you're addicted to this um person. Okay, and um Aries, you may have some addictions that you need to release some toxicity that you're holding within yourself so you could transform and do some changing. Okay, before you go into this person. You need to um you there might be somebody toxic that you need to detach from. Okay? All right, that's what you're being told. You need to, you have some addictions you need to work on, okay? You need to work on your addictions before you go fully in with this person, okay? Oh, and this other card, yeah, before you walk away, yeah, you need to walk away from somebody that is, you need to detach from somebody that is toxic. And you as well have some addictions you need to help fix, within yourself some toxicity you need to get rid of okay you need to work on yourself go through a transformation okay all right tower card a disaster moment some Aries are going through a disaster moment where they're trapped they keep going through the same cycle over and over again change has to be made before this cycle can end and so you can get your new beginning holy spirit clarify the eight of swords and Aries energy Clarify this Eight of Swords and Aries energy. Yeah. The Page of Pentacles. Okay. A change has to be made within you. So this cycle can, that you're stuck in can stop. You have to um, go through a, a transformation. Go inside yourself and see what it is you need to change about yourself. So you could, um, so things can start bettering in your life. Okay. And then your new growth will begin. Your new beginning and growth will begin for you. Okay, Hermit card. Wow, that jumped right out on it. Okay, so some of you Aries are in off to yourself in solitude. Trying to make a decision on some options. An option. Okay, whether it be for employment or a person. Okay, you're trying to make a decision. Okay, yeah. Contemplated on growth. You're contemplated on which way to go that will benefit you stability wise in your growth okay whether that be a person or whether that's a job a business okay you're looking at your 
You're contemplating on your stability, comfort, and security. Okay? Holy Spirit, clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Okay? Keep your guard up. On a situation, you need to guard your, keep your guard up. And success will come. Keep your guard up to what is not, no, what doesn't serve you. And you will move forward in a success. That's what you're being told. Okay. Um, the three of pentacles. Holy Spirit, clarify this three of pentacles. Okay, so you you're working hard on a business that you're trying to manifest, Aries. Holy Spirit, clarify this magician card. You're manifesting a business. You're working hard at trying to build a business. Holy Spirit, clarify the magician card. And whatever you manifest and believe that it can manifest, okay? Chariot. And then you will be successful in moving forward in this business you're being told. The chariot. Hold on one minute. Let me. Oh, no. Okay, Aries. So, yeah, do that. Believe in what you manifest. You're working hard at building your business. Okay? You're manifesting this. Believe in it. Believe. And ask for the right thing as well in your manifestation. Okay? And it will be a success. You will move forward in the success. All right? So, five of cups. Some of you, um, Aries, are disappointed in either options or you may be disappointed in yourself. Okay? Disappointments. Holy Spirit, clarify the five of cups. I'm hearing mentorship. In a mentorship. So maybe somebody was mentoring you. You're disappointed because maybe you feel you did everything you were told to do. You know, you were trying to follow someone's advice. And you did everything you were told to do, but it still didn't work. It was still heartbreak there. Okay? King of Swords. It's still heartbreak there. But you're being told to stand your ground. Don't waver. It's not over. Holy Spirit, clarify the King of Swords. There's disappointments, but it's not over. Two of um, Wands. You'll get your new beginning. Stand your ground in your new beginning. Okay? That you want. Okay? That's what they're saying. Don't give up. Okay. Yes, it's disappointing, but you got to hang in there. Don't waver. Stand your ground. That's what it's saying. <sighs> Seven of Swords. Okay. Um, someone's deceiving you. Hmm, let's see. Someone's trying to get away with something. Someone's deceiving you in this situation. I'm hearing pregnancy. Someone's deceiving you about a pregnancy. Look at that. Judgment card fell right out. Wow. You're going to be enlightened about being deceived. Someone's deceiving you about a pregnancy. And you're going to be enlightened about it. You're going to find out. Okay. You're going to have to control yourself. Oh, wow. Muster everything up in your side of you to control yourself about this. Being deceived about this pregnancy. It's going to, I'm hearing a toll on you. It's going to take a toll on you. So maybe you were happy about this pregnancy. You really maybe thought that this person was really carrying your child. You're going to find out they, they're not carrying your child. Holy Spirit, clarify the emperor. So you're going to have to control yourself in this situation. Okay. Knight of Swords. It's a Gemini person. This is going to be challenging. This is going to be a challenge for you. But determination, with determination, you go, you'll be able to get through it. Because you really seen this person. You really seen this person's worth. You really looked up to this person, this queen, as a queen of pentacles. 
you seen this person could do no wrong almost like you really looked up to this person this person was in the public eye okay fire sign but this announcement or message you're going to get an announcement coming in or the person is going to let you know maybe the person in the public eye is going to let you know that this person is deceiving you somebody's going to let you know that you're being de deceived a fire sign sagittarius or aries like yourself wow oh i'm sorry to hear that aries oh my goodness okay empress okay some of you there you go somebody or some of you may be going through a rebirth somebody might be pregnant or you're seeing someone that's beautiful, loving, seeing yourself having the family with this person that you see as a Venus person. Holy Spirit, clarify as an empress. Holy Spirit, clarify this empress. Okay. So there's somebody that some of you guys are seeing as an empress person. You want balance with this person. And they might be pregnant. This might be somebody that's um, saying that they're pregnant by you. This might be the one that don't really have your child. Okay. But you're thinking of offering them a cup of love. You want to come in and offer them a cup of love. You're trying to plan, think, and strategize um, how to come into this person. Or you're being told to think. Take your time. Be rational. Okay? Yep. When it comes to this person that's saying that they're pregnant, that's pregnant by you, be rational. Take your time. In a situation where you were thinking of planning, you need to take your time and um, think. Be rational. Be logical. Use your wisdom when it comes to this person. So that means you need to check everything. Make sure that that child is yours. Okay. Wow, that's twice. So whoever that is out there, uh, y'all better make sure that that's your baby. Okay. Um, the full card. Take a leap of faith. There's a situation where... Let me gather my cards okay let me mix these cards up for this last one okay okay holy spirit clarify this full card in aries energy clarify this full card in aries energy okay so yeah there you're being told there's a leap of faith you want to take towards someone aries you need to pray about it holy spirit clarify you need to get answers from your higher power pray about this situation okay mm. okay you don't want to let this person go holy spirit clarify this four of pentacles or you're being told this person hoards money. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah. This person may have options. Aries. This person may have options. That they're reuniting with. That they're looking to reunite with. All right. So let me. Um, that's your reading. I wish you guys luck with this situation. Y'all be in my prayers. Okay, so let me... Um, love Oracle. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, um, show us messages for um, Aries. Show us messages you have for Aries. Holy Spirit, thank you. Show us love messages you have for Aries. Aries, you're not getting that many love messages. You only got three. I'll give you this one. Okay. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. Soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For the heart is the gateway to the soul. Transformations. Oh, trust. Transformations occurs through acceptance 
Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. There you go. All right, um, Aries, you guys, be strong in your situations. Hold your head up. God bless. I wish you all the luck in the world with your situations, with prospects. All right. Peace, love, and happiness. Please subscribe, like, and share the video, okay? I'm out, you guys. Love you guys.